We're here at Aganis Arena, where the 15th ranked Boston University Terriers will take on the second seeded Wisconsin Badgers here tonight for the Hockey East Game of the Week. Congratulations on the win. You had a lot of your upperclassmen really step up tonight and produce for you. Can you talk about them? Well, obviously, when you're as young as we are, it's you're going to need to rely on your upperclassmen. And you know, tonight was a big night because last night I thought we actually worked really hard last night, but we didn't work smart, so you know we ended up on the short end of the stick. But I really liked the way we were ready to play tonight. In those first ten minutes, we, you know, we're moving the puck, we were physical, we played with some speed and tempo. And got up one nothing, and then unfortunately we took three penalties in a row, which really I thought changed not only the momentum in the first period, but the momentum of the game because you know you're using uh, you know your best players killing penalties and they're getting tired and the other guys aren't getting any shifts and any rhythm. So, but I obviously we got some puck luck tonight, but you know we did a lot of good things tonight. And speaking of penalties, you had seven total in the game. Some worked out better than others for you, but what does that say to the discipline of your team? Well, you know, last two games we had three or four, and then, you know, seven against the, uh, UMass, and then, you know, three, three, and then tonight seven. So we just, we just got to stay out of the penalty box. We're inconsistent in that area. Uh, we're inconsistent in general, which I think you're going to see from a team as young as ours. But, you know, it's been talked about, it's been addressed. We were better at it for the last two games, but obviously we slipped up in, in that area, so we're going to have to readdress that for Friday night. Well, overall, not bad. It's a win here. Fourth game as head coach. You're 3-1 on the season. What does it yeah. feel like? Well, it feels good, obviously. You know, we've got a long way to go, um, but I really like the progress we're making. Uh, you know, it's a great group of kids. They work hard, and, you know, we're going to take our lumps along the way, but, you know, I really like our leadership. Uh, I like the direction our upperclassmen are giving our freshmen and our sophomores, and so I think our best hockey is ahead of us. All right. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Well, congratulations on the first goal of the season. Can you talk about that? Uh, it was a really nice play. It was kind of a broken play off the power play. Uh, Robbie Blair's run gave me a really nice pass across. Uh, I didn't really get most of it, but you know, I credit my teammates for being in front and screening the goal. I think that's what uh, allowed it to go in. And Matt O'Connor, your sophomore goalie here, did a great job for you tonight. Can you talk about backing him up? Absolutely. I mean, I think seeing, uh, you know, they kind of threw a lot of rubber at us for sure at the beginning and he obviously handled that extremely well and I think that's what kind of fueled us going into the second period is having that confidence in our goalie so he definitely showed um, you know, he was ready to play and that was huge. 
When you get ahead so far in a game and you're up a couple goals, how difficult is it to stay focused in the game? Yeah, I think uh, we were talking about earlier, um, coach has been harping on making the five foot pass and instead of leading towards the long bomb. So I think when you kind of get up uh, in, a, in a game like that, especially against a team like Wisconsin, uh, it's kind of it's kind of tough to stay um, just simple and things like that. But I thought we did a pretty good job and uh, we're really happy with the outcome tonight. All right, well, congratulations on the goal and the win. Thank you, appreciate it. Congratulations on the win so far here this season. Can you talk about it a little bit, what it was like in that? Uh, it was great, great atmosphere tonight. We had a uh, really loud uh, student section. I think everyone just fed off that as we uh, took momentum and really applied the game plan that uh, Coach Quinn has really been uh, em enforcing on us. So it's short passes, like uh, Grizzly mentioned, but uh, winning battles. And I think the guys really possessed the puck a lot tonight, which uh, allowed for us to generate uh, scoring opportunities, and, and it was great to get the win. You had 39 saves tonight. Wisconsin was extremely aggressive. Can you talk about what you saw from them? Uh, they were really uh, not forcing perimeter shots. They were looking for great A's and a lot of uh, opportunities out in the, out in the uh, slot. But our, our D did a great job in front of me and uh, allowed it to be um, a relatively uh, good effort on their part and made it easier on me. So I think um, seeing from the goalie perspective, there were a lot of uh, a lot of shots and a couple of great days, but I think the uh, defense and, and the system and the team played really well in front of me. Well, you're three and one on the season so far. How does it feel? Oh, it's great. I think um, if we keep up to our game plan, it's just going to get better. And uh, moving forward with Quinn, I think he's a tremendous coach, so it's great working with him. And uh, I think the team's going to do uh, great in front of him. Uh, it's unbelievable. I think you know we were a little bit unexpected of what was going to happen this season with Coach Quinn coming in and everything, but he's done a tremendous job and. Uh, I think uh, our team has really responded well and we've uh, really bought into our system so I think uh, I think things are looking good for, for the future for sure. Congratulations to Boston University who beat Wisconsin 7-3 under first year head coach David Quinn. For all the news and actions and updates go on to HockeyEastOnline.com or check us out on our Facebook and Twitter page.